Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky. As you can see, we're on Atlas Station and we're here to talk to Polo, Specialist Polo to be a bit more precise. And we're here to do his mission. Let's tell a tale of wonder. That's it. Sentinels has been processed and noted, friend. Let us move on. You, friend, visit the worst places you can find. Stay alive. No good to me. Dead, are you? No good to me. Dead, are you? Can't learn much from a corpse, although, no, never mind, stay alive. Oh, really, he was gonna ask me to die. At least Polo is affable once again. Affable? Really? A nod, a smile, even companionable tap on the arm at one point. Even a companionable tap. Oops, I'm not reading well today. Just like any other day. I know, I don't read well, I'm sorry. A friendship renewed. This friendship has a lot of turbulences between me and Polo. On his side, mostly. I blush when the Gek mechanic tells me that they hope I live a long, healthy life. I have to swallow disappointment when it, when it transpires that Polo's true motivation is to study how my suit responds to long-term exposure to extreme climates. <laughs> yeah. Good thing we've been to... Uh, Ooh, what is that? Reach milestone determined for extreme survival. 0 0.8 souls out of 5 souls survive in extreme conditions. What do we actually have a mission to do? Can you believe that? That's actually kind of easy. I just AFK on a planet. On an extreme planet. For what? Like 20 minutes? That's not going to happen on camera. That's not going to be very exciting on camera, so... Next thing we were going to do is base computer archives, but before that I'm actually going to talk to Priest Entity Nada, because she can give me clusters for information. She always says the same stuff, like greeting me and request resources to aid exploration. Nada gives me a gift to aid my travels, they wish only for me to be happy. And I just need to transmit milestone data and 50, because I haven't actually uh, done too much since last I talked to her, but when I last talked to her, I got like 2k. Yeah, it is milestone data, which I just noticed. So we are getting close on most of the milestones to maxing them out. Where are they? Milestones, right? Sorry. As you can see, these are maxed out. These are on 10, they're maxed out. This one is almost. I need four more ships. Warped 18 times. That's gonna happen really quickly. Especially in the next couple of episodes, I believe. And discover all species on a planet. Yeah, that's that's just that's the hardest one. Like seriously, finding all the animals is really hard. And the other one is extreme survival. Okay, I need five souls, so I will find an extreme planet. That's not too hard. Now let's go to the space station and go back to our home base. Now I did set up a gold base, specifically a gold farming base with autonomous mining units. It's not really interesting, it's just basically a portal and autonomous mining units. That's over there. Yeah, that's about it. But it provides 750 gold. I was gonna go for a thousand, but then I was like, mm, uh, do I really need a thousand? The answer was no. I really don't need more than 500, but I decided to go for 750 just, just in case. Just in case. It's primarily because of these. Uh, these consumables require gold. 50 gold per each. And, you know, it's good to have a modest stockpile of them. I'm actually just gonna quickly sell the scanner module, class B. Hopefully I don't sell the S1. Yes I just I just actually bought, just before I started recording this episode, I started, I bought a S tier, S class, what was it? Scanner module. As I said, I'm preparing for a new multi-tool. Hopefully that will happen on camera. If not, I'll start recording right before I actually get it. But we are gonna try and get it. Hopefully next episode... Uh, we will see. Today we have... Oh, no! We actually need to be on the station. Yeah, that was uh, stupid of me. So now I need to do a 360. A 180, sorry. 360 is... 360 is pointless. Okay, now I need to land again. 
Ya. Okay, let's go back to the base. You've wasted a lot of time. This is gonna be the last base computer archives we do. Next up is going to be... Yeah, you see Gold Digger. That's what the base is called, just Gold Digger, because that's what, all it does. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm not planning on having too many of those bases set up. It's just on resources that are expensive to buy. Oh, with 55 million credits, it's not that expensive to buy, but I would still rather not use my credits for that. Was it units? They're called units, aren't they? Yeah, they're called units. Seriously, don't auto-change my missions. Yeah, let's talk. Okay, archive per user, iteration lost, unavailable, possible remote terminus, backup available, download coordinates. Yes, please. And target outside local system. We are going to do that after we do this technician guy's quest. That's something that I can guarantee you. Visit remote archive terminal. Off-world archives, galaxy map, okay. Exocra oh yeah, I still haven't done the delivered mission. I keep forgetting. Let's talk to him. He's gonna want me to kill a depot, isn't he? Have you obtained the materials I seek, interloper? Uh, you'll shield us from their side. Okay, I actually don't need to destroy a depot, I just need 100 gold, that's easy to get. Thing is though, the gold is on the ship. I mean, I could show you the gold base, so I could just buy a hundred gold. Let's see, can I actually... does this thing have gold in it? Mm, no, so I need to actually go and get gold. A hundred isn't an issue, I can always buy that. The issue is when I'm building 10 or 20 consumable items, which is... 10 is 500 gold, and 20 is a thousand gold. So when you need to build those, you are you know, using up a lot of gold. A thousand gold is roughly around half a million to buy, I believe. R roughly, I believe. Wait a minute. Yeah, they buy for like 200 a piece, so... Yeah, so yeah, no, 500 gold is, yeah, around... Possibly a little bit more than half a million. So what I do is I leave one there because apparently there's a bug. My, my silver autonomous mining units were mining... Uh, they were mining copper instead of silver. And I went to the forums and the suggestion was always leave, leave 10 inside because they bug out and they start mining copper. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. So I always leave 10 now, just in case. I don't really need that much gold, but let's turn in the gold first. And then I'm gonna transfer it. I didn't know he wanted 100 gold, it just said return to technician. If I hadn't known, I would I was just I would have just prepared 100 gold. I mean I was on the frigate. On the freighter, sorry. Like two or three minutes ago. Two or three minutes before starting the episode, of course. Okay, and we're back. Yeah, Aurora, you yeah. know. Let's return to the technician. As you can see, I did rebuild the ramp here. Improvised ramp, but still a ramp. Have you obtained? Yep. Good, I shall use it to forge an Exocraft acceleration module for future expeditions. Carbon nanotube, those are easy to get. And a boost module class C. I believe I have a class A one and a class B one installed. Okay. None of us lives left to the traveler. All of us from attachments, and I must shed the last vestige of mine. I left my consort and spawn behind on my homeworld. My crimes were my own, but they I must know what has happened to them. They have sent me an encrypted transmission. You will use the Exocraft acceleration module to reach it before my brethren inevitably delete it. In the process, we can pull mining laser technology from the network. Nah, we will kill two Gek with one blast. 
two gek with one blast. Okay. Recruit George requires me to use my exocraft to reach a terminal quickly enough to receive an encrypted transmit. Really, he's gonna make me race. They believe we may also acquire an exocraft mining laser blueprint from the Viking network. Be vigilant, be quick. I require the message. I must know what happened to these I left behind. Reach the terminal. Can't I just go by like ship? Okay, so I need carbon nanotubes. Those are easy to build. Those are just carbon. I need two. This I'm actually not gonna install. There's my exocraft. So it needs an acceleration module, right? Wait a minute, where's the acceleration module? I'm pretty sure he gave me the... Uh... I have boost modules, those I have. These are... I don't know, these are fusion... 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 These are not boost modules. Did he give me this thing, Exocraft Acceleration mo Yeah, he did. You know what? Install the Class C one, why not? Not the, not the freighter, not in the freighter. Boost power plus 12%. Sure. The gold is going in the freighter. Just really quickly. So I just made those carbon nanotubes for no good reason. I guess I could make microprocessors with them. Just make sure they're not taking up space. Terminal location received. Where is... Really? Reach the terminal in 11 minutes. It's off world. How am I supposed to reach the terminal with a... Mm, with an exocraft? No, seriously, this was a bad design. Should have used the portal. I did not realize it's that far away. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a just a design error, in my opinion, because you were supposed to use the roamer to get to a specific location. I'm sorry, but that location is off-world. That thing cannot fly. It can jump. Like, I, I would not suggest... I wouldn't call that jumping, even. It can like slightly maneuver upwards, and yeah, that's a bit better. But yeah, that, that's about it. Getting over there is gonna be hard, and hopefully it doesn't require me to build a terminal because that's gonna be actually hard to do, especially considering I don't have the materials for it. A roamer bay, to be a bit more precise, not a terminal, a roamer bay. Scanner module should have gone to the storage. I forgot. As you can see, I have expanded the storage capacity a little bit. I just ra I keep randomly finding some of them. Not all of them, I used one. I used one coordinate data. But I found one randomly. Am I getting scanned? Not on the space station. We're not going to the space station, we're going over there. That's actually a bit closer, isn't it? But yeah, I, sh I still should have teleported to the space station. Yeah, sure, scan, why not? We're actually gonna be there a lot sooner than the 11 minutes, but... Yeah, the roamer quest should've just been on planet. Shouldn't have been off planet. Data terminal. I have more than enough time. I was gonna fly there even if it was on planet anyway, but... You know, still. I forgot to save. Or have I been here? I've been here. So the door must be open, right? If I've been here, I've destroyed the door. Trust me on that. Who cares about life support power? Oh, it's a transmission tower. The door was gonna be open anyway. Hey, you know what? Let me deal with the life support power. It's just so it doesn't bug me. Okay, loading transmission, decrypting subspace frequency error, interception. Witness the price of your heresy, fugitive of the Viking. Know that there is no sky in which we cannot find you, no system to which you might flee unscathed. Hide then in the depths of the galaxy, for we are patient. 
Note that your spawn wept like mewling gek as we cut them down. That we killed your consort as it fled, leaving the others behind to suffer. Where, sh where shall you ever find peace knowing these things? Yeah, the message is not what I expected. The technician told me to retrieve a transmission from their family, but thus I must return to decide what to do. Before the transmission closes, I pulled the Exocraft mining laser blueprints from the network. That's oxygen capsules, really? I, th I think I can buy those, I'm not too lazy to craft them. Craft, find, or purchase oxygen capsules. And now it's time to go back to the base because, uh, yeah. That's gonna be a lot of running around this episode. Can I kill a bird? Can I kill a bird? Oh yeah. No, that bird is like heavily armored. It's still not dead. I would have gotten a message. No free slots in inventory. Because they give more light when they die. That's one armored bird. I mean, sis, what is this bird made out of? Yeah, you see? What are these birds made out of? I can't believe it. Can you? I can't. Okay, I'm not going back to the planet Alpha. I mean, flying. Space Station is really close, so. We're just gonna teleport there. And we're gonna check for oxygen capsules here quickly. Yeah, capsules. I mean, I'm not even sure what it takes to build them. I know I can build them, but... Oxygen... Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna build them. And afterwards, we might test out the roamer. If you're wondering what I'm gonna do if I have a choice between lying to him or telling him the truth, I'm gonna tell him the truth. I saved his life last episode. You know, from, I saved him from death. I'm his boss and he's been treating me like a rat. Okay? So he deserves to know the truth to cry a little bit. He deserves, he deserves it. Let's install the module. Yeah, it's gonna be installed here. Really out of range, come on, it's right over there. No, install. As you can see, our roamer is now pink. Pink-ish. Still not pink enough, but pinkish. There's no protection, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recruit! My preparation on preparations are almost complete. Soon I will purge myself of the old life of my old attachments to commit fully to what I must become. But even if I will remember nothing, I must know. I must know, Traveler. Have you retrieved the transmission? They are frenzied at my approach, excited. Whatever this transmission might contain, whatever system it has been sent from, it would seem to matter a great deal to the Viking. Yes, yeah, it did you have. Technician tells me that they are going to clean their mind to prepare for the whole for their holy task before they remove all other thoughts. They wish to know what happened to their family. I must know, traveler. Tell me what my consort said. Tell me of my spawn, please. I have waited so long. The technician was expecting to intercept a message from their consort and spawn, probably wife and child. In child, right? I'm assuming correctly, right? Wife and child. But instead, instead, I discovered that their family had been killed and murdered by the other Viking in retaliation for their heresy. As they stand before me, expecting nervous, I do not know whether to tell the truth. Yeah. I, I le leave me, traveler. We Viking prepare for death our whole lives, but this, who am I now, who I am now will die with them, lost in the obliteration of time and memory. Thank you, friend, for what you have done. When we next speak, I will be reborn. Hopefully you're a bit, like, kinder to me. You know, your boss. Just saying. 
What do you mean when we next speak? Return to the technician. Okay, um, that was quick. I am reborn without attachment. I can focus now, focus on what I must do. What what must you do? Rah, you will require mining me in these days to come. Construct one and I will craft you nomad exocraft befitting an acolyte of Nal. Okay. Their face is different. Beneath the eyes, beneath the soul, they have changed irrevocably. Where once they would insult me with meaningless threats, now they speak only of singular purpose. Okay, that's good. Where once they would be capable of happiness or grief, now they only care about their cult, about their s supposed purpose. So, he's faking it. The technician asks me to build an exocraft mining laser. Yeah, I already built one. The world will change, it must, it has to travel, or, or else, all of this, everything we have done, it will have been for nothing at all. I've already constructed one, so just let me finish the quest, please. That's just way too slow. Let's wave. Wave at the public. Wave at the audience. Okay. Have you built the mining laser? I hope you enjoy working with the Viking technology. Nothing refines the design of a machine like using it in combat, even if that combat is against the earth. Confirm it as built. Nomad! Just a single metal plating, that's easy. Good thing I bought that extra power for them. Excellent work, your exocraft mining laser should be powerful enough to extract even magnetized ferrite from this planet. Witness the art of the mech priest, that I can create such marvels, Grah. I need the Colossus. The universe is a mystery traveler. It's, it's, it seems colossal. Colossal. It's, it's a colossal thing, I need the Colossus. The universe is a mystery traveler. Lives are spent in solving it. We shall do our part. The technician needs me to gather magnetized ferrite, a hyperdense mineral that must be refined. My life will be made easier with the Exocraft mining laser, able to harvest pure ferrite from large deposits. But I could already do that with the mining beam. With my handheld laser. My tiny handheld laser. The technician will use this craft to upgrade for my Exocraft signal booster. Okay. They say the Viking first rose to the stars in ships crafted from pure magnetized ferrite. Who knows what, we'll, what we will accomplish. Okay, gather detritum? What is that? It said magnetized ferrite. How do I have detritum? I do not have detritum. What is that thing? What is the tritum? I do not have the tritum. I'm sorry, but I do not have that. Uh, let's build a single metal plating. Single metal plating. And build the new Exocraft. It is a nomad. And we are actually going to build it here. What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? I want to see what it does. This one is... it's controlled this, the same way. Uh, annoying controls. It's not that fast. And gets stuck on trees as well, okay. Is it, is it just me or is this thing slower? I mean, okay, what's the point of this thing again? Hmm. Okay. Let's look. Let's see. So it has an acceleration, that's about it. And the signal boosters. Okay, I guess it's a smaller craft. I still prefer the Jeep thing. How do I even use the mining laser? No, seriously, how do I use the mining laser? Look at how it jumps. This is not a jump, I'm sorry, but this is not a jump. This is like upwards momentum and only in a slight fashion. Oh, blizzard. You know, get up here. 
I wonder what shift does if we're not moving. Slightly moves you, okay. Just get in there. Okay, I guess let's, le let's return to the technician. The nomad is a... Uh, oh, it's basically the roamer. Just slightly different. So I guess the Colossus is basically gonna be the roamer, just slightly different. Oh, that's gonna be no surprise. Have you brought the magnetized... It said detritium. Or detritum or something. This is not magnetized. You know what, just give him the magnetized. Right? I get the technician the pride they requested. They requested. As they work with it, I examine their station. It is barren now, lacking the flaws, the personality of their previous equipment. I cannot help but miss the way they were before. I don't. Don't don't lie. I do not. I do not miss the way they were before. For all this newfound efficiency and focus, the flaw of their individuality, forever gone, drowned within their great purpose. Do we care? Okay, yeah, yeah. Take the signal booster. Upgrade it whenever it is when it is constructed, I have something else for you. Compensation for your work. I have been analyzing your exocraft telemetry, you see. I really not use this. It seems that my previous incarnation did not even provide you with the most basic and exocraft weapon upgrades. Grah, forgive the Viking that I was acolyte. It is not polite to withhold firepower. I'm starting to like this new one. The technician requires me to craft an upgrade to my yeah 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 yeah. Your technology your technology multiplies. Soon your exocraft will be the envy of all you encounter. Go traveler. Build your upgrades. You will continue my great work. I will continue my great work, oops. Okay. How much what does this require? Uh, stop being a you know what? Don't climb up the ladder. Have I told you to climb up the ladder? No. I'm gonna just bring the roamer here. Just so I don't have to like always go next to it to upgrade it. Look, look how pink it is! It's kinda cool. It should be in range now. Okay, so it wanted me to build a signal booster, right? So two ion batteries. That's kinda easy. Wait a minute, did I have iron batteries somewhere? Must have used them. I had like four or five. Oh well. Oh, there they are. So I need two of them. And we're just gonna build it here. Come on, build. Oh, it's gone back and talk to this guy. I actually wanted to kneel because we did test out the scanner last night. When you press X, it's just like in the Nautilus, and it'll show up extra. It was just depots, but now it's depots? Drop pods and abandoned structures, okay, that's kinda nice. I mean, this way you don't need drop pod data, you just scan for a drop pod, it gets detected, and you go back to your ship and travel there. Because, you know, why would you travel the slow way when you can travel the fast way? Right? Slow way, fast way, just better scanner, which is a surprise. This thing should have that scanner. So we have been to this drop pod, by the way. That's why I scanned for drop pods. Okay, let's talk to this fellow, to George. Ah, the blueprint for your weapon upgrade already, interloper. Have you imbued your scanning open equipment yet? Yes. The technician gives me blueprints for weapon upgrades, but as they pass them to me, an alert begins to sound in their terminal. I hear nothing. I see nothing. I am nothing. Their search is almost complete, as Khan has found something. That you choose this world, of all worlds, to make your home out of infinite possibilities. I did not think it possible, but my scans have uncovered the truth. Nal itself visited this place, we shall uncover their final words. Who the hell is Nal? Use your upgraded Exocraft signal booster to locate this planet's abandoned structures. Bring me the nanite clusters contained within and I will use them to forge a new acceleration module for the trials ahead. The Viking claims that this Null, that the namesake of their cult once visited my planet. I cannot know if this is true. I walk through worlds of ruin and wonder at these people, at their obsession with the past, at the hatred that tore them asunder. I wonder what the future might hold, what secrets might echo out through the hub of creation. 
The technician requires nanite clusters, which I have a lot of, to initiate their final ritual. They have an exocraft acceleration module waiting for my return. Tread carefully, traveler. In all abandoned things, there grows a rot. Take the nanite clusters and leave before something notices your theft. Yeah, we know. How many do you need? No, just return to technician. Side of gonna tell me how many, how many it wants. Hopefully not more than like a hundred. Have you obtained? Yeah. The technician takes the nanite clusters as they hold them. They appear to enter some strange trance. After a moment, it is done. There is a strange look behind their eyes. Recruit George informs me that they have taken communication with their ancestors. That they know what they need to do. This is getting weird. Traveler, my work is complete. Finally. I have over... I have overridden the ley lines. Really? Charge their holy data. They have revealed to me a monolith. A tomb for the final prophecy. If you go there before the ley lines close off, you and you alone will uncover the truth behind my species, the mystery for which Nal died. A monolith has been activated. If I reach it quick enough, I will gain this forbidden knowledge. Sure, the ship is fast enough. The technicians serve their holy purpose, driven to obliterate their own personality in pursuit of this very day, this very moment. I do not know if their sacrifice will be in vain. I don't care. I just don't. It just says return to technician. I have eight minutes to reach the model. Please tell me it's on this world. Yeah, it's on this world. Okay. Yeah, this episode's gonna be a bit longer, but I want to wrap up this the technician quest lines. At least the monolith is close by. I still think it's a flaw though, it should force you to go by via Roamer, even though if, if you forced me via Roamer I was gonna be really pissed. Ooh, there's something here. Not interesting, move. I still don't like it that, this, that the ship doesn't... I've been here. As you can see, the monoliths are actually charging up, charged up, because I have been here? So yeah. These have been used because I've been here. I remember being here. I'm not sure if it was on camera or off camera, but I've been here. I learned three new words here. Or was it four? Could have been four. Okay, yeah, let's see. I approached the model. Oh, I think I remember what this was. I am engulfed. Uh, I mean, as in what the model F gave me. I'm engulfed in the terrible truth. I see its words in the text of a thousand tongues in the... Ephemera? Of countless stars? I'm sorry, that's the first time I've seen the word. Okay, submit, I guess. No, the voice of Nal, okay. Know that I heard the word of the Atlas, where Kirk had heard nothing. I witness events that occurred millennia before my awakening. I see two Vikings standing before a red glow, asking it of the universe. Oh, we remember this from one of these... From one of the monoliths, I believe. They were talking about two Viking. Submit the witness. Yeah, I'm gonna witness. In their rage, in their. I'm, first of all, I'm reading the bottom left first, then top right. In their rage, in their impatient jealousy, Herc struck me from the mountain and I saw the truth of what the monolith had said that my end will be an awakening, that in this dream nothing should perish. I see a Gek and a Corvax, waiting side by side before me, and before the vision ends I see a vision of something I have not seen before. Of something that does not belong in this or any place, of hatred, grief, despair, of something that is yet to come. Yeah, keep witnessing. Yeah. Rampant Mystic, the witness. Or so it would be until the coming of the last traveler. So it would be until the destruction of realities. Know this the final testament of not oh destruction of realities. And uh, it has some probably has something to do with the sixteen minutes left to live thing. Final final testament of Nal. I see the end of time, the end of all things, 
and that the crimson light, there is a figure, its hand held out before eternity. I see all this, and then it is over. The monolith has nothing more to show me. Hey, that's it. I leave shaken by my experience. As, as I go, I feel something right behind me, breathing, watching, when I turn it is gone. Paranoia, setting in. Return to technician. I still don't get what was that supposed to be about. I mean, okay, two Viking. That's about it. That's all I got from from it. I'm sorry. Not the brightest soul out there, but I mean that was cryptic even for me. Either that or I missed some Ooh, wait a minute. What is that thing? Have I been here? No. It's a manufacturing plant. How are we gonna end up sort of here? After I do it. Oh, I have been here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I have been here. Then we are continuing off the episode. I was gonna end it off right after we did the manufacturing plant, but I've been here. Okay, let's go talk to our technician. He should be done now. I hope. Just give me the Colossus tech. We can explore that next episode. If you're wondering how I used the roamer up there, I just summoned it up there. You know, there's no ramp or anything to get up there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let's see how happy he is. I envy you, traveler, to see the words of Nal itself. Ugh. With this discovery, you have vindicted the actions of a thousand martyrs, traveler. You deserve your reward. You deserve the Colossus. There it is. I'm pretty sure it does the same thing as the rumor. The largest exocraft in my arsenal. Use it and strike terror upon our enemies. The Viking believed that their ancestor Hurt received wisdom from the great monolith, initiated a war against the Sentinels, and slayed Nal the Objector. The monolith. I d oh, okay, so the vor the, uh, the Corvax is the object. What? Okay, I didn't get it. It got lost on me there somewhere. The monolith I discovered proves that this history is a lie. Nal was honored with a vision while Herc, while Herc had been met with only silence. And in its jealousy, Herc murdered Nal. Okay, now I get it. Yet I am left with questions. I am left thinking of the creature I felt watching me. I am left with dread. Technician offers me the Colossus Yobe schematics. Of course I'm accepting the schematic. The technician passes me the schematic as they do their eyes beam with pride and sadness. Please tell me that his quest line is over. He's annoying. George is annoying. George is getting fired really soon. I have transmission I have transmitted Nal's testament to my brother and traveler. What you have learned this day will spread among the Viking. It will change our people for the better, Grah. And if violence is required for change, so be it. Really? As for you, you are not as pathetic as I once believed. You are so close to being fired, little mister. You are no longer an interloper. You are one of us now until the end of time itself, enthroned in the glory of the Colossus. The technician waits anxiously to see my Colossus Exocraft in its full glory. I watch as they begin to forge an upgrade for my Exocraft mining lasers surrounded by schematics and charts. The Colossus is a fine craft, they say. Kirk and Nal rode one together before their end. Wait, I haven't built the thing. Why are you asking me to return to the technician? Construct the Colossus Exocraft. Colossus Geo Bay. Exocraft Bay can be built anywhere on the planet. Okay, well, let's see. It's gonna cost 100 paraffinum, and I don't have any more. Yeah. Four batteries, five metal platings, and paraffinum. Paraffinum, I don't think I can buy from here. I don't have any more. Uh, that's gonna be an issue. It's either four or five, I don't care. Five metal platings. And paraffinum, which, yeah, there is none here. That was to be expected. So, that's gonna happen in between episodes. 
and we will explore the Colossus next episode. I'm gonna put some upgrades in it as well, you know, just so it's not like very basic. But anyway, my name's been Rampant Mystic. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Slate. Slay the Sky, you know what? This game is called Slay the Sky now. Hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.